Mm-hmm. A lot of people hear the term lead and they think it's this is an administrator book and it's totally not that. So who is this book written for? I, I think it's written for anybody that's looking to just empower others. Honestly, with leadership, it, it, for me, it's, be, it's, it's being able to build capacity. And, and there were, this book was, you know, it's funny when you get these projects that when you're stuck, like it unsticks you. And you know, we had yep. been talking about this book for literally for years. And I had been doing, you know, I, I didn't want to write, but I kept doing all these videos, all of these one minute walk to work videos, just talking about how we lead from different places. If it's the classroom or if it's the playground, if it's the court, if it's yep. the field, if it's the, whatever the case may be, it's the d- district office. And I kept talking about how we lead in different capacities. And I love doing those. And I love that the response yeah. that we were getting from people on those. And all we did was take those and just kind of keep, you know, put them into a deeper dive. And it made me feel awesome because I would, I would honestly, I'd show up in at, at school at five o'clock in the morning, just ready to write about the things that I believed in, in those videos. It just gave me purpose. Mm-hmm. And every time when I would come to, to school and start writing, I would find more purpose, not only in that moment, but when I walked out into school, I found more purpose in walking through mm-hmm. school because it focused me on on what I was doing, which then made me feel like if that was doing it for me and I was writing it, man, I'm mm-hmm. really hoping that it'll do some, that, that same thing for people when they read it as well. Yeah. And I was going to actually ask you, like, what inspired you to write this? And obviously, you know, the stories from your school, right? Seeing the yeah. stuff that you do oh. every single day. And I, I've been a, a huge proponent for years for for blogging, but more open reflection. I think a lot of times when people look at blogging, they they think just about writing. Whereas I see it as much more holistic. You can do video in there, you can do different things. It's kind of just a one-stop shop of all my thoughts. And when you're kind of talking about that, I, I don't, I and maybe I'm wrong. You tell me if I'm wrong on this. There's no way that book's happening if you don't do those one minute reflections, right? Those, those walk to work reflections. And like, how is that so crucial to your process? Because, you know, I I have my answer on like why that's helped me write, kind of expand on my Mm -hmm. thoughts. But like, how did that help you? Because people just see the little snippets, but Mm -hmm. those snippets added up over time led to this incredible book. Yeah, well, I think the two two ways, two two reasons. And the Mm -hmm. first was that it was a bunch of stuff that I screwed up. And I didn't want anybody else to screw up the stuff that I screwed up. All right. That yeah. was the, that was the, that was one of the things, but the second thing, and probably the most important thing for me is that every one of those walks is authentic. It's always mm-hmm. something that happened. It wasn't me being philosophical. It was just, this is what happened. Here's how I can help you. This is kind of what you could do tomorrow to make sure that things right. feel a little bit better for you and find some purpose in the work. And that's really, that was it. I mean, honestly, I felt like if we could get people to a place or help people to a place that A, they know their value, but B, they can help themselves create some momentum for themselves and for the people that they serve. Now, all of a sudden, now you can get some momentum along the way. So I think that's kind of it, the authenticity of what it was, was a huge, was probably the biggest piece. But the second thing is, you know, I screwed up a bunch of stuff. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not perfect. And the willingness to put myself out there and say, you know what? I treated this person poorly. That's what I did. And I've, yeah. and I, I, I tried to say, I was sorry, but guess what? It didn't help. <laughs> you know, I, and yeah. I lost that person in terms of having them as an advocate in school. And so don't do that. <laughs> like right. figure out a, way, a different way to do it. And, and hopefully uh, along the way we've, we've helped people kind of uh, think about things a little differently. Well, the authenticity, I think it really, really matters. And mm-hmm. like you are currently your superintendent and you, you yep. just, uh, you know, you just resigned and, and I know that they're in very good hands with the new superintendent coming out. Uh, but one of the things that I really, I know, and it's kind of weird because I think people kind of appreciate the opposite. I appreciate how informal and relaxed those videos are because it, it kind of gives, I don't know, permission, but it makes people more, feel more comfortable, make them themselves. Cause I've seen a lot of superintendents, they got like soft lighting yeah. and they got, <laughs> you know, it's like they got a production crew doing this stuff. And then they're like, you need to do this in your class. And you're like, I don't have, the, yeah. I don't have a team. So mm-hmm. that's, that's not happening. Right. Uh, one person I'm going to give a little shout out here. Let's say a shout out. So do you know, so do you know the subbing superintendent? I don't know no. her name. Look her up after this. Okay. She's on TikTok. She's a superintendent in Texas. I honestly do not even know her name because she just says, she is like, hey, the subbing superintendent here. And I don't know how that name, I don't know if she's subbed in for a superintendent. I know she's a current superintendent, 
but she's okay. just like chilling and telling stories and talking about what's happening. And so mm -hmm. many people resonate with that. And I think it shows, you know, people in a much more authentic way. 